Thank you and uh, good evening. Post the tabling of the budget, in the last four or five years, we made the practice to have the entire ministry, ministers and the secretaries, move around the country to various uh, cities and there interact with the stakeholders, officers and also business chambers of commerce, industry, uh, self-help groups, women and so on. To understand what is it that they have perceived of the budget and if they need any clarity they could have a exchange of ideas. The first time I did it in 2019, I found it very useful and fruitful because you were able to explain the budget much more in detail on a one-on-one -on -one kind of a environment. And sometimes some ideas are very useful that we can carry it forward as well. So in that process this year, after the budget was submitted, uh, we had already covered Hyderabad, Bhuvaneshwar, Jaipur, and uh, Mumbai, and now we are here to Sikkim as a gateway of uh, Northeast. So for the Northeast, in this year's budget outreach programs, we've come to Canberra. Uh, the secretaries are here, and in between, of course, uh, the ministry was very involved in carrying forward the first finance ministers and central bank governors meet of the G20. Uh, which ended only day before yesterday. So after that, we are here straight. I don't need to again elaborate on the budget because all of you all have heard the budget being laid in the Lok Sabha and after that also <coughs> through the media, the various places where we've addressed the media gathering. Each time we went to each one of these places, Hyderabad, Bhuvaneshwar, Mumbai and so on. So I straight open the floor and uh, leave it for you all to ask any questions in which the secretaries will freely join in to answer. Thank you. Uh, we will now begin the question and answer round. The format will be as follows. Uh, you are requested to ask questions pertaining to the union budget or the policies and schemes of uh, the Ministry of Finance. If you ask the question, kindly introduce yourself, the name and the name of your organization. Thank you. Madam, my name is Bishnu Dupani. I'm a freelance journalist uh, based in Gantok. So, madam, my question is that uh, since the, this time the, uh, your budget has been increased by 110% for North, the Northeast and uh, development areas, so what would be the proportionate for the scheme in terms of the budget locatory? And in terms of the development of the infrastructures related with the uh, infrastructure related with the uh, in terms of this uh, connectivity up to the border area, international border areas. So there are multiple uh, provisions in the budget which will benefit the state of Sikkim. First, I'll give you some numbers on the overall provisions for the Northeast in which a proportionate share comes to Sikkim. So for the schemes of the Northeast Council, the outlay has gone up from 644 crores in 22-23 to 800 crores in the current budget. For the Northeast Special Infrastructure Development Scheme, which is mainly for infrastructure including roads, it's gone up from 1,419 in 22-23 to 2,491. And then the Prime Minister's Development Initiative for the Northeast, known as PM Divine, which had 400 crores in the revised estimates for 22-23, is going up to 2,200 crores in the coming year. In addition to this, under the scheme of 50-year interest-free loans to states for capital expenditure, there's an increase of 30%, and Sikkim is one of the states which gets a disproportionately higher allocation. For many of the states, we give it based on the share which they get under the Finance Commission. But for the Northeastern states, the Government of India has decided to give more than the proportionate share. So Sikkim will be a major beneficiary in the increase in the loans for capital investment by states. 
uh, this is in addition to the other ongoing development programs. The increase in the budget for infrastructure, particularly for roads, will also benefit the NHI DCL, which is constructing a number of road projects in this region, including in Sikkim. These are just some examples. Just to add to that, tomorrow, um, via BC, I'll be launching a ropeway, which is in the Western Sikkim, I think, which is a beneficiary of the PM Divine, which came last year. So you are seeing results of allocations made for capital expenditure through the PM Divine. And this is one classic example. And another, for which the foundation is being laid tomorrow, again, is a direct beneficiary of the PM Divine scheme. Ma'am, uh, good evening. My name is Nirmal and I represent Sikkim Chronicle. Although uh, this year the uh, allocation of the budget for the northeastern states has been doubled to rupees uh, 5,892 crores, uh, there was much of an anticipation on the you know, announcement of the new uh, policy uh, for the northeastern state uh, in regard to the new industrial policy. And also there was an expectation that uh, you would renew the any in, uh, investment development scheme uh, in the union budget. Uh, uh, we, we, couldn't, we couldn't find that in the budget. What could be the reason for that, ma'am? Uh, Northeast Investment Development Scheme. So over and above the things which have been explained for the capital expenditure through the Northeast Council, which is PM Divine, over and above the Donair, over and above Sikkim getting its own share of the special assistance to the states, which is for 50 years interest-free. You are asking now about you had an expectation on something which didn't come through. That itself is the answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, madam, uh, I am Jagan Dhal, Dainik Zagadan uh, state or central government, scheme अगर उसका ओरिजिनल ऑब्जेक्टिव से ये स्पष्ट है कि उसके अगर आपके पास उतना पैसा नहीं है ऐसे एक स्कीम लॉन्च करने में उन उन स्टेट को डायरेक्टली ही कतरा है सो उसका मैंने कुल मिला करके इतना ऐसे कुछ अमाउंट अभी बोल नहीं सकती हूँ क्योंकि मैंने कुछ एक्सरसाइज अलग से उसके लिए नहीं किया मगर जिन स्टेट में उसके दबाव के कारण हालात में कुछ नाजुक पर ना गया है उसके कारण सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट से वो मांग रहे हैं उन विषयों में उच्च चर्चा निकल कर बाहर रही है हेलो मैम मैंने भी स्पंकज एंड आई रिप्रेजेंट ईएनआई एंड ईस्ट ईस्ट मोजो मैम माय क्वेश्चन इज ओवर द इयर्स आई थिंक सिक्किम हैज बीन the recipient of the lowest share of income for union taxes, ma'am, I think then for the year 2022, it was around 3,963.23 crores. What do you mean by union taxes? Union the tax, tax share. being devolved. Yeah. It's devolved as per a formulation given by the Finance Ministry Commission. Is there a way the state can actually improve this understanding in, on a national level because we are at the lowest? I think on a per capita basis, Sikkim gets one of the highest devolutions. <laughs> If you relate it to the, you cannot look at the absolute number. You have to compare it with the population of Sikkim. So there are approximately 250 million plus people in Uttar Pradesh. If you compare it with the population of the state, Sikkim actually gets one of the highest per capita devolutions in the country. The reason it may be the absolute number is small because the population is small. And is there a way we can improve that? The e devolution is fixed by the Finance Commission. They consider different factors. They consider population. They consider the disadvantages such as hill location. That is why it is disproportionately high also. They, they consider all these factors. And when the next Finance Commission is appointed, Sikkim will make its case. And they balance these different... It's a, it's a complex equation. There is population. There is per capita income. There are handicaps, forest cover. Some are plus, some are minus. 
they give weights for the different factors and then arrive at a formula. Oh, ma'am. We have been uh, we have been hearing, you know, about uh, concessions being given on the tax side and grants and subsidies being given on the other side. Now you are talking about, you know, share being increased. I would say rather than you know all of us looking at you know what someone else is getting or what is my proportion of share, can we all together you know because I represent revenue, can we all together think of how you know we can increase the total pity so that you know your share also increases and so does everyone else's. Uh, Madam, is, is there any way to plan to? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I am Nita Niraj from UNI and Sikkim Reporter. I just wanted to know two things. One is that uh, there's so much budget uh, located for uh, infrastructure, but uh, nothing is included for the maintenance and for repairs, and it is very difficult when the things go off. And number two is there is a lot of, you know, uh, focus on irrigation, but there are certain areas in Sikkim which have gone totally dry and there's no, you know, river sources have dried up and all others. So what would be the <laughs> focus on now? That money wouldn't work there, that other. So um, let me point out that there are two kinds of infrastructure. One is national trunk infrastructure, which is built by the central government. There is adequate provision for maintenance of national highways and for the highways which are built by the MHIDCL and operated by them. As regards maintenance, so maintenance repairs of NH, adequate budget provision is there. You can look at the budget, it is there. As regards state capital expenditure projects, what the central government provides is a support to carry out capital expenditure. It is the responsibility of state governments to handle maintenance and repairs of an asset which actually belongs to the state. So that's a question which is really to be posed and answered by the state government when it comes to state government assets. Just to supplement, just to supplement more and more, see now the government what is what it is trying to do through various PPP projects on which you know this capex will be spent uh, through the hybrid and through the NOD model. The maintenance itself is also taken care of by the PPP partner. So in a way, when we are providing for the capex, the, the Operational expenses are also, you know, being provided. Uh, Ma'am, uh, good evening. My name is Vijay Guru. I represent Sikkim Express. Uh, I do beg your pardon. This question may not fall within the specific parameters given by the at the outset, but it does concern the ministry. It just says that uh, on January 13, the Honorable Supreme Court has directed the, your ministry to bring an amendment in the Income Tax Act 1961 where to add one more clause in the definition of seeking is as mentioned in uh, section 10 26 AAA. So how soon we can we expect that amendment? And uh, part two question would be, uh, would, would, would that uh, uh, addition of one more definition in, uh, one more clause in the seeking is definition would, uh, they are concerned that the expansion of the definition, uh, seeking is definition may dilute the rights and privileges enjoyed by the seeking is presently. First of all, let me clarify the rights and the privileges enjoyed by Sikkimis and as to who Sikkimis are immediately after that judgment came out. It was the union government which approached the Supreme Court to say, please expunge the remarks which were obitum, which were not germane to the question which was being discussed. So I'm sure you are aware that through the immediate response and action of the central government, that has been removed. In other words, the intent of the central government to respect the uh, privileges and the rights of Sikkimese has been kept intact because the central government responded to that situation immediately without any delay. So that proves our intent. So you can be assured and through you I would to I wish to assure the people of Sikkim that nothing has changed as regards Sikkimese. Um, the, the, the court's case uh, has already been dealt with. Uh, Ma'am, may, 
मैं ऋषि दूरदर्शन न्यूज से मैम आपने बजट में जिस तरीके से इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर और तमाम चीजों के बारे में बताया आपने बताया कि कला अप्रूव का भी उद्घाटन करेंगे आपने गेटवे भी कहा तो इस पूरे इलाके की कनेक्टिविटी के लिए क्या फ्यूचर में कुछ इस तरीके के बड़े प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं जिससे कि नॉर्थ ईस्ट भारत के बाकी के हिस्सों से और ज्यादा मजबूती से जुड़ पाएगा connectivity uh, there are three or four areas one that government of india through ministry of road and transport have been increasing the national highway network to improve the network of highway service at the same time in the north east nhidc also takes a progress then connecting villages improving connectivity the scheme for pm gram sadak yojana there is yet another scheme to improve the connectivity third sikkim has its own challenges because large or any airport is a difficult one for heliports to be constructed this budget announces 50 such heliports to be done so that is yet another part of connectivity but when we talk about connectivity is not just road where to transport people or goods there is also the digital connectivity so there is a clear scheme to make sure that each and every village of the country has a digital optic fiber connectivity and the focus is equally being given for the border villages it's not just about border villages but i am making at that point because these are the most difficult areas to reach there when we talk about connectivity it is also to make not just the optic fiber but making sure that the gram panchayats as well as the schools pscs they get connectivity and then there are other services can come in there because once you get connectivity then daily health services can get on to the pscs the students can get connectivity by the classes can be done online plus yet another example which was done in the last year's budget through a television in the local language make sure that is a distinct channel for the local language classes from 1 to 12 which are available outside the classroom normal school hours so when we talk about connectivity government of india attempts to work with the state government to promote physical connectivity digital connectivity as well as service oriented connectivity thank you uh ma'am uh, the state president uh, bjp today uh, submitted a memorandum to you expressing concern on the rising unemployment especially uh, seeking for a one time financial assistance and second is to uh, give a direction to all the nationalized banks working in this state to make the uh, loan easy and hassle free without collateral securities and third is to extend the any iib policy in the state of sikkim uh, what is your take on this demand the demand is given to me i can't have an immediate take on it okay. i respect it i will look into it and in fact the second point that you mentioned secretary dfs is here he has already done a review yesterday before coming here through all the banks as to what has reached sikkim and what is yet to reach and he is joining me in this visit only because we are working to get total saturation meaning every eligible person should get what is planned through the pm's various schemes so that work has already been reviewed by him we, we shall further take it up tomorrow uh, so it's going on the other two of course are part of the memorandum which i will with due respect take it and work on it yeah, also instructed and ma'am has also instructed me to visit again talk again and have a meeting with the state government and review all the schemes which i will do shortly we will take only one last question i everybody who is not asked them yeah please ma'am there is a general worry in uh, in a section of population here of the increased borrowings of the state government 
from various sources to meet the capital investment and welfare commitments. How does government of India assure the people that borrowings of the state are within control in their investment? So, um, I do not have state specific figures with me, but I will say that the government of India keeps under review the borrowing of different state governments and fixes a borrowing ceiling for each state government. One change that has been brought about in the recent, that is starting with 21 22 and then 22 23, is that we have noticed that in some cases there is borrowing which is actually to be serviced by state governments but is not. Uh, within the 3% ceiling, that is now being reckoned within the 3% ceiling. So the present situation is, if the borrowing is to be serviced through the consolidated fund, then regardless of whether it is taken by the state or by an organization of the state, it will be counted within the permissible borrowing ceiling of the state. That has been enforced from 2022-23 and will continue to be the case in future. I think we'll wrap up the press conference. I think we can. Yeah. Ma'am, can I? Ma'am, can I ask one last question? Ma'am, we, we can we take one more question, uh, okay. please. Yeah. Uh, Ma'am, uh, one of the highlights of Sikkim would be the we used to have this Kathula border trade mm. uh, uh, before till before COVID we used to have, and it was important for historical reasons also and and a diplomatic relationship also. It has been closed. So, any indication as to when that trade may be resumed in coming years? It was an issue which was raised in this meeting which happened just before this press conference and uh, we've taken note of that request. It was shut in 2020 and after that it's not been opened. Uh, it was suggested that by, uh, it was suggested by that gentleman who spoke on behalf of this issue, uh, saying if it is kept open at least those who foreigners who go to Nepal can come uh, inwards for us if the border post is kept open. So we've taken that uh, into our consideration, meaning we've taken note of, but that's the business of the Home Minister. We'll certainly convey to the Home Minister. Kevel Chorupama Ekado Sachi Kinho's dear Satai Lottery. Kevel Sarupama. And is it to host by Lupereska? Ekaro Rupea. Ganko may check condition here. This may generally young patients Hamare Pasate. जिसमें कि चेस्ट का जो साइज है वो थोड़ा बड़ा हो जाता है तो जनरली ये बहुत सारे रीजन से हार्मोनल इंबैलेंस के कारण ये जनरली होता है तो गैनकोमेस्टी ऐसी जो प्रॉब्लम है वो जो यंग जनरेशन अभी फेस कर रही है अभी जो हम लोग देख रहे हैं गैनकोमेस्टी का जो होने का जो रेट है या आप बोल सकते हैं पॉपुलेशन है तो आज बहुत ज्यादा है 10 साल पहले या 20 साल पहले इतना ज्यादा ये कंडीशंस नहीं होते थे लेकिन अब हम लोग सोसाइटी में देख रहे हैं बहुत सारे बच्चे इस चीज से सफर कर रहे हैं मिस बहुत सारे लोगों को ये गायनोकोमेस्टिया हो रहा है जो चेस्ट का साइज है वो बढ़ रहा है जो यंगस्टर्स हैं जो जिम जाने वाले लोग हैं जो डेली एक्टिविटी मिस हार्ड वर्क जो जिम में कर रहे हैं उनमें किसी कारण से ये बेस्ट का साइज जो है चेस्ट का साइज वो बढ़ रहा है तो इसमें आपको जब आप बेयर चेस्ट होते हैं या जिम जाते हैं या आप स्विमिंग पूल में हैं या आप बीचेज पे हैं तो इस कंडीशन में आपको जो एक्टिविटी है वो करने में थोड़ी सी हिचकिचाहट होती है रीजन क्या है कि आपके चेस्ट का साइज बड़ा है तो सोशली दिस इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल सो ऐसे पेशेंट्स को मैं सजेस्ट करता हूं कि आप गायनोकोमेस्टिया की जो सर्जरी है वो आप कराएं ये बहुत ही सिंपल है डे केयर प्रोसीजर है और बहुत ही एडवांस तरीके से हम लोग आजकल गायनोकोमेस्टिया की सर्जरी करते हैं इसमें जो सर्जरी का जो स्टिग्मा है कि आपको कोई स्कार नहीं होगा कुछ दिन बाद आपको कोई ये पता भी नहीं कर सकते कि आपकी ये गैनकोमिस्टिया की सर्जरी हुई है जनरली हम लोग जो सर्जरी करते हैं उसमें चेस्ट के साइड में जस्ट फोर टू फाइव एम mm का एक स्कार होता है जो की होल्स हम लोग बनाते हैं उसके थ्रू मशीन से सारी जो प्रोसेस है जो फैट है ग्लैंड है सारी चीज वहीं से हम लोग निकाल लेते हैं सामने कोई स्कार नहीं होता है तो देर इज नो सोशल स्टिग्मा कि आपने कोई गैनिकोमिस्टिया की सर्जरी पहले कभी कराई है और ये सर्जरी का जो प्रोसेस है ये डे केयर प्रोसेस है मॉर्निंग में आप एडमिट होते हैं ऑपरेट होते हैं और इवनिंग में आप घर जा सकते हैं और घर जाने के बाद आप सेकेंड डे से आप डेली रूटीन एक्टिविटी जो अपनी होती है वो आप कर सकते हैं विद इन सेवन डेज आप हार्ड वर्क भी आप स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं अगर आप जिम जाने वाले लोग हैं तो आप जिम भी आप स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं आफ्टर सेवन डेज 
और कुछ प्रिकॉशंस होते हैं कि आपको गारमेंट्स पहनना होता है कुछ कंप्रेशन गारमेंट होते हैं कुछ क्लोथ्स होते हैं जो कि हम लोग आपको प्रोवाइड करेंगे वो आप पहन के आप, आप, आप अपनी एक्टिविटी कर सकते हैं और कुछ हफ्तों में मीन्स वन और टू वीक्स आफ्टर टू वीक्स यू विल बी ऑब्सोल्यूटली फाइन आपके जो स्कार्स होते हैं जो जो स्टिचेज होते हैं स्टिचेज भी निकल जाते हैं और आप विद इन टू वीक यू विल बी ऑब्सोल्यूटली फाइन टू डू एनी वर्क अगर आप गानेकोमेस्टिया से अगर आप सफ़र कर रहे हैं तो आप हमसे कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं हम लोग ये प्रोसीजर आपको एडवाइस करते हैं धन्यवाद